Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a small, very small, thank you for following. Thank you, thank you, that's what you do. Um, a little haul from Shop Miss A to show you guys today. Um, I picked up a couple of things. Uh, Shop Miss A has this section on it. Let me pull their website up real quick so that I can get that correct before I misquote something. Um, but I wanted to pick up a couple of things because I was getting low on sponges. You know, these uh, little black sponges. Uh, what the hell is this thing called? Wonder Blender sponges are my favorite. I was getting a little low on those. So I wanted to get some more of those. And... I was kind of just going through here and they have a shop the cause section and the shop the cause section goes to it it's a little bit more expensive than a dollar it's a dollar 88 but um, the the extra cost goes to charity why aren't you going to this section really um and they have a bunch of things in there that is not what you want um so i picked up a couple of things out of that section that i wanted to try um one of those things is a new wonder blender it's called the mochi soft this is kind of a dupe for the what is that, velvet blender thing. But it just has kind of like an angled surface right here. It's flat on top. It's got the little rounded bottom. Um, but anyway, so this was $1.88. It's called A Plus. It says, we believe every child deserves a bright future. A portion of proceeds from the A Plus edition products will go to local and international charities that support children's education from, from school supplies to building schools. Thank you for your support. Um, so I got this sponge. Oh, just rip the packaging. I got this sponge um, and two brushes from the A Plus Charity. I got an AOA Studio E133 brush. It's supposed to be an angled brush for like your outside corner, but that is very big. So that just might be a big fluffy brush for all over my lid. <laughs> And I got another pencil brush. Apparently, I got three pencil brushes on this time. But, hey, who cares? Um, these have, like, wood handles. And so, the these were all $1.88 a piece. So, that extra $0.88 cents went to charity. Yay, woo. I picked up three more... Wonder Blender, so I'm going to be set on sponges for a while. Then I picked up another big fan brush. You guys know I love my F11 brush, so now I have two F11 brushes for when my other one is in Dirty Cup, which it is right now. Um, I also picked up another E12 brush and another E24 brush, which are these two brushes that are sitting right here in front of me. Um, these make for great under the eye. This makes for a great outer corner smoky, smoky eye kind of brush. This makes for a great inner corner eye brush because it is very small and precise. And this one's a little bit wider and can smoke out your outer corner. These three, four, five products right here were all a dollar. So, not a bad haul. I haven't had any problems with these brushes. Matter of fact, let me just do a little demonstration right here. 
This is a Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M143 brush. This is a big fluffy fan brush. I got this for Christmas. And this is my AOA Studio F11 brush. This is the new one. My old one's over there, the Dirty Cup brush. Cup. Um, this brush sheds like crazy, and I try to avoid using it at all costs now because not only does it shed, but it is very scratchy. And as you can tell, I just pulled it out of the sleep. It's in its sleep that, you know, I leave it in. Look, it's got a little hair that's just like over here. And some of the hairs over here are just kind of out. And I put my fan brushes back in their sleeve so that they can maintain their shape. I'm going to get the dirty brush, even though it's dirty. Okay, it's dirty. Don't judge me. I have washed my brushes. But... It has one look, oh, and that was a hair that was coming out. But that's it. This is a dollar brush. It has had this, I've had this for the same amount of time that I've had that Morphe brush. I got this in December as well. That was the first two hairs that have shed off of it. I, I can't tell you how many hairs have shed off that one. But it doesn't have any squiggly little hairs anywhere. It is maintaining its hair quality. It's a dollar freaking brush. Look at that. And it says it's freaking little sleeve, just like the Morphe brush does, except for when I take it out to wash it or use it. And it still looks good. This one's a dollar. This one was ten freaking dollars. This one is very soft and very pretty it doesn't scratch my skin that one scratches the crap out of me so i don't use it anymore so anyway so i got a backup of it so that when that one's dirty i have one that doesn't scratch me anyway so that is my shop miss a little haul i wanted to get some more pencil brushes for when these are dirty i don't have to rush to try to clean them so fast um i have some that i can do um the bottom lash line with and not be in bad shape with because i only have those two but anyway guys that is my little shop miss a haul i do have an announcement to make the rest of my game of thrones stuff will be here in two days and then i also got a surprise coming i've got free makeup coming free makeup is coming so be on the lookout for when i go all goofy because i've got free makeup anyway guys let me know what you think of my shop miss a haul and let me just tell you guys there's a lot of skepticism about people shopping on shop miss a or not using a beauty blender okay let me just say this i have never spent the twenty dollars for a beauty blender and i will not spend twenty dollars on a beauty blender but i did spend the money to get this real technique sponge and i did spend the money to get this dollar wonder blender sponge and I'm going to tell you something. I prefer this Dollar Wonder Blender sponge. Um, these last for a very long time. Um, these get dirtier quick, quicker. This is the Real Technique sponge. These get dirtier quicker than these do. Um, these are not very hard. They're very soft. They're very malleable. This is not even wet and it's very squishy and very soft. Um, these are a dollar, and so I don't feel bad when I have to throw one of these out. If I pay $20 for a freaking beauty blender, that damn thing better last me forever. I'm sorry, that's how cheap I am. I don't mind paying a lot of money for makeup. I mean, this powder, not cheap. This is like 30 something dollars, but it does leave my skin looking very pretty so I don't mind that um this eyeshadow palette is $55 but it blends beautifully and looks great on my eyes so 
so I don't mind that. This eyeshadow palette, hella expensive, but beautiful and pretty. So I don't mind that. But for a utensil to use to put on my makeup, that is where I draw the line, okay? Most of my brushes that I personally purchased, Eco Tools. These are like, what, six to twelve dollars most of the time you can catch these on sale so you get them cheaper a quake come in a set very cheap um wet and wild i got the full set of these on sale for 10 bucks um I got these Moda brushes that I don't actually use anymore because I have a whole bunch of other brushes now. But I bought the whole set of these Moda brushes for like 20 bucks. Now then, my more expensive brushes, which this one's 32. I need to sit down and wash my brushes tonight. These Luxie brushes, I got in a boxy charm, so I didn't pay for them. They're going in the dirty brush cup. So are you. Uh, this crown brush. I got it a boxy charm. I didn't pay for that. This Aesthetica brush. I got in a boxy charm. I didn't pay for that. This motor brush. Thank God I got it in a boxy charm and I didn't pay for it because it's crap. Um, again, Lexi. Got in a box of charm. I didn't pay for that. Anything that is name brand that's in my brush collection, I got in a boxy charm. I didn't pay for. Cause like you see, except for I take that back. I bought this. This is the worst brush decision I ever made. This Morphe 143 brush is the worst decision I ever made. I will never, ever, 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 ever buy another Morphe brush in my life. I am saying that on camera right now. I will never do this again. Um, yeah. But most of the brushes that I bought, Eco Tools, Wet n Wild, um, Elf. The ones that I purchased myself are Eco Tools, Wet n Wild, Elf, or like for eye brushes. They're the ones that came in with my eyeshadow palettes, like my Urban Decay palettes. Again, here's Eco Tools, got that. But like all these Luxie brushes, I got those in. Boxy Charm, I didn't pay for those. These vintage cosmetic ones that I love so much. I got these in Boxy Charm, I didn't pay for those. Uh, again, here is an e.l.f. brush, I purchased that. Wet n Wild, I purchased that. Wet n Wild, I purchased that. Uh, Alamore Cosmetics came in Wet n Wild, I mean, in a uh, Boxy Charm, I didn't purchase that. So, I mean, most of my brushes that I purchased are going to be Elf, Wet n Wild, or Equate, or AOA Studios. I don't pay mega bucks for stuff to apply my makeup. I just don't. And if you see something that is name brand 99% of the time, I got it on sale or had a coupon or something like that. Because if I'm using it to put the makeup on my face, it's because I paid very cheap for it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a cheapskate like that. And 
I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna like break the bank on tools to put makeup on. I will break the bank on makeup. You could ask my husband about that. And really and truly, I can't even say that with like any air of confidence. My <laughs> my story my storybook cosmetics palette. It was between that and the Jaclyn Hill palette. My husband took me into Ulta for Christmas. And I was like, well, I want this palette and I want this palette, but they're both like, you know, one's $38, one's $55. And he was like, okay. I was like, well, it's just too much to spend on both of them. So I'm just going to figure out which one I want more. And I picked up the Morphe palette because it was cheaper. I was like, well, this one's cheaper. I'll just get this one. And we walked past the storybook cosmetic setup and he was like, they had that one and the burn book set up. And he was like, which one of these do you want? And I pointed to it and he picked it up and he was like, all right, come on. So I'm one of those people where I will not, I, I will not spend an extra, extravagant amount on myself. Like if you notice, I don't do these gigantic hauls. I do these very tiny hauls. All of this stuff right here with shipping and everything cost me like 15 bucks. So, you know, it's not this gigantic haul. Now, yes, I've gone overboard with this Game of Thrones thing, but that was my birthday slash wedding anniversary all wrapped into one. Um, it was my 36th birthday and my third wedding anniversary all rolled into one. So... I put up with my husband for three years, and I turned 36. I deserve something big. You know, it's just, I don't really go and just, like, splurge on myself. Now, my husband, he will splurge on himself for no good reason. He will go and buy himself, like, a $200 pair of shoes. I'm like, why? He's like, because I wanted them. I'm like, okay. But for me... Things to put makeup on are just the end result. For me, it's like I just want to for my makeup to look good. I really don't care. Thank you for sh like still having the toilet flushing in the background of my video. Sorry. Mm. Hey guys. Go away. Life of a 14 year old walking through the house while you're trying to shoot a video. Anyway, but so for me these little dollar sponges work just as good and give me just a as flawless of a foundation finish as i've seen with people that use the freaking 20 dollar beauty blender so i don't see a problem with it um but if you want to spend the 20 dollars on a beauty blender you do you i'm not going to tell you how to live um, so yeah, now I have plenty of sponges, so I don't have to worry about sponges for a while, especially because we're going to be moving soon. Can't you see the joy on my face? Can't you, can't you see the joy on my face? Yes, unfortunately, in June, we will be moving. I hate to move. I despise it with all of my soul. But, um, so now that's one last thing I have to worry about in the moving process. Unfortunately, I have to worry about the moving process. Yay. Okay, anyway. So, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm just going to wrap this up and get this up on YouTube because I've got to get some thumbnails and descriptions wrote and then start packing again um because the last thing i'm going to pack is my filming setup because i don't want people messing with my shit anyway I will see you guys on the next one. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to comment about the Wonder Blender versus the Beauty Blender or anything of that nature, your opinions on Morphe brushes, 
versus cheaper brushes, whatever. You can do that in the comment section down below or you can look in the description box and find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Also, my email is linked down there as well in the description box. Um, anyway, guys, I would love to hear your opinions on these said things. So, drop me a line and let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm going to do this wrap this up and move on with the night because I gotta feed the boy but I will see you on the next one guys bye for now